This video is about the military DDCRA PPS system, um, commonly called DCRAPS. So firstly, can I apologize to everybody who is in the military or who has been in the military, as you'll no doubt understand this subject much better than I do. Anyway, this DCRAP system, it's a British military system, but I would imagine that all militaries all over the world have something very similar. But for those non-military people watching, what exactly is DDCRA PPS? What is the DCRAP system? Well, it's one of the methods that the military people can use to pinpoint their location just using a map. I say military because civilians really don't need to use the DCRAP system. For example, if I wanted to find out exactly where I am now, I could just stand up, take a few compass bearings off some ground features, plot those bearings onto a map, and using triangulation, I can find out my exact position. There are obviously, how can I put this, various situations, is that a good way of putting it? There are various situations that military people will find themselves in when they just can't stand up and start doing, taking complex bearings off things and doing resections on a map. So also, as we've seen over the past few years, in some combat zones, GPS signals can be disrupted, they can be jammed. So these won't work. So this is the reason why the military still train at using DCRAPs and why it's really important to know. Even when all the normal technology that we have today stops working, contour lines don't move. So in some situations, maps are still the most reliable source of information. Anyway, back to DCRAPs. DDCRA PPS. <laughs> it's a mnemonic, or is it an anagram? I'm never quite sure if it's an, an, an anagram or a mnemonic. Anyway, it stands for Direction, Distance, Conventional Symbols, Relief, Alignments, Patterns, Proximity, and Shape. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to remember all those words. It is Direction, Distance, Conventional Symbols, Relief, Alignments, Patterns, Proximity, and Shape. Now, for those non-military people watching this, what we'll do is we'll go through exactly how we use DCRAPs to find out where we are in a map. So let's say that you're somewhere, but you're not exactly sure where you are. Now, you'll always be able to find out some information just by looking around, you know. Here, there's some rocks here, there's some grass, you know. I know something about my location. Now, you could, know to your, you could notice that you're in a field, or you could be on the side of a hill, or you could be in a forest. You know something about your location, so at least that's a start. Now you can't just set off wandering around and, to, and hoping that you'll bump into something which will tell you where you are. You need a plan of action and you need to have practiced that lots of times until it becomes second nature. As I said, DCRAPS is an acronym, so it's the first letter of each word. Now the first D is direction. The idea of this is if you know which way north is, you'll also know which way south, east and west are. So all you're going to do is get your map out, and if you've got a compass, you can use that, but it's not really necessary. But we'll use a compass to make it easy. So all we're going to do is put the uh, compass on the map, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the map with the compass on it, try and keep it flat so the uh, magnetic needle spins freely, and I'm just going to rotate the map and the compass at the same time until the magnetic needle is pointing north on the map. In other words, it's pointing the same direction as your, uh, the vertical lines on the map. Most military people, you know, when they're in a rush, they, <laughs> they won't worry too much about magnetic declination because it, it's, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, let's just get it done and find out where we are. Now, if you don't have a compass, what you can do is you can just look for something that you can see in the distance, line your map up with it, um, so it's pointing at that, whatever it is, and then your map is now orientated. So any feature that you can see on the map should be in the same direction as, as they are on the ground. Don't forget, it's DDCRAPPS, so there's two Ds to start with. Now we've done direction, so the next D is distance. Do you know how long you've been walking for? How far is it since your last definitely known location? Or how, how far is it to a ground feature? Can you see the ground feature and can you identify that ground feature on your map? Also, 
how long have you been walking for since your last known location? If you've only been walking for a few minutes, the circle that you could possibly be in on your map is quite small. If you've been walking for an hour, you, you could be five or six kilometers. So the circle, the radius of that circle gets bigger the further you've walked. So as an example, I might be able to see something in the distance and I know that it's about 500 meters. Can I see that on my map? You see what I'm getting? So we're trying to hone down on any visual information that will give you an indication of where you actually are on the map. So we've done direction and distance, and the next letter is a C, which stands for conventional signs. Can you see anything which is shown on your map by a conventional sign? This could be anything such as a cliff or a river or a road, or if you're in a built-up area, it could be a church or a pub or a youth hostel. It can be anything, anything that is indicated on the map by a, sap, by a sign. The sign needs to be distinct. As an example, if you're in an area like I am now, which has got lots of dry stone walls and lots of cliffs all over the place, it may be difficult to identify that specific one that you're looking at on your map. So try and look for, look for a conventional sign that actually stands out on your map. It's, it's, it's not surrounded by other signs or other similar signs. The next letter to look at in our decraps is the R, and that stands for relief. Ask yourself, what type of ground am I standing on or am I near? Which direction is that ground going? Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it going east, south, west, north, whatever? Ask yourself also, what would that look like on a map? What would the contour lines look like? Now, just a quick point on this. You may be lucky and find a steep slope leading up to a pointy hill <laughs> and say, ah, I'm there. But normally, in reduced visibility, in remote and possibly wild country, all you've got to go on is contour lines. So you do need to practice contour line sort of recognition, okay? The next letter to look at is the letter A, and that stands for alignment. Can you see a few features which are lined up in a particular direction and that could give you an indication say they're pointing off to your left or to your right that could give you an indication of your position if those features point directly at you that's a bonus but it doesn't normally happen so the features don't need to be pointing directly at you you just need to be able to recognize them um, on the map and also on the ground and that will give you a good indication of where you are in relation to those particular features. So now we're up to the last three letters, which is PPS, patterns, proximity, and shape. Patterns, you need to look around you. Can you see anything that makes a pattern? The human brain and the human eye combined are very good at creating visual patterns. As an example, there could be some roads, that, a road junction, there could be a wall junction, there could be walls that run parallel, there could be a two streams that merge. Basically, they all form patterns. Can you recognize those patterns on your map? The next P is proximity. Are there any features, either natural or man-made, near your position? Can you locate those features on the map? Or are there any features near to each other that would be recognizable? You know, it, anything that you can see on the map will help you identify your locations. And last but not least is the letter S. And this stands for shape. Can you see anything which has an identifiable or distinctive shape which will help you locate it on a map? Just another point on shape. It might not be an idea to try and look for very small things or use very tiny objects like, I don't know, in, in this area, especially sheep pens. They're only a few meters across. and They are on the map, but they're very hard to spot at night or in any stressful situation. It'd be a good idea to try and look for the shape. If you're looking downhill, you can see forests. Can you see the forest shape? Can you see all sides of it? Or can you, is there a particular curve in a river? Or you know, any, anything that will help you find that shape on a map. So that is decraps. Hopefully you now understand the, uh, the British military system of locating yourself just using a map. If I had to break down decraps into just two words, it would be look around. Simple as that. If you look around, you can see things on the ground that you hopefully can identify you, that will identify your location on a map. 
So that's it. Thanks for watching.